it's getting like dicier by the, whoa, it's getting dicier by the minute. All right, today I am coming to you from the Georgia and South Carolina border. I'm walking this abandoned train track. Uh, my buddy Jordan Gray gave me this spot and told me it was really, really good. So I'm gonna check it out, see if we can find any turtles, uh, snakes, possibly alligators. We'll see what's around here. Uh, so far it looks pretty cool. Um, I always like exploring spots like this that are really kind of backwoods and kind of abandoned. It's always super productive. So we'll see what we get and just gonna keep walking. I think I hear a snake with a frog. Let's see if we can get it. It's the distress call from a frog. Yep, right over there, Black Racer has a frog. Probably not gonna be able to see it on the GoPro, but there's a black racer right over there and he's got a frog in his mouth. You can hear the distress call. Pretty cool. I don't want that snake to give up his meal, so I'm not gonna bother him, but uh, first reptile of the day. So don't know if you can see it, but these are in the center of your screen. These are basking diamondback terrapins. Uh, gonna give it a, see if I can get a closer shot or see if I can get um, maybe a better scenario. Right now I'm on a kayak trying to get, you know, shots of these females basking, but I would love to see if I can maybe get a little bit closer and get a better shot. But otherwise, I'm pretty stoked. So far, mission success to see wild diamondback terrapins. Very, very cool, very, very cool habitat. So let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Again, wild basking diamondback terrapins. So cool to see these uh, turtles just sitting there on this mud bank. You can tell the males, they're the much smaller ones. That's a female going in right now. She's watching us pretty closely. And then the two to the, to the right are both females. And then that smaller one to the right is a male. And it looks like this smaller one's just gonna swim right up to us. Pretty stoked on that. And then there they go. You can see right here, uh, this is the way they crawl up on this mud bank. And this is really all they need to bask. They just wait for low tide and they come up on these banks when the tide is low, bask for a while and then slip back into the water. Yep, that's one right there. Little tiny male. See his head up? But it's, it's such a crazy habitat when you see all of these sharp, crusty oysters and that these turtles live in this salty, briny, kind of strange to strange habitat if you're not used to seeing diamondback terrapins. But yeah, there is one hiding out right here somewhere. So when the tide is low, you can see that the shoreline is actually covered in all these tiny little snails. And this would be a big food item, especially in the female diamondback terrapins diet. Uh, they just swim along and kind of crunch up all these snails, similar to map turtles and musk turtles. And they'll also eat little crustaceans like crabs and uh, hermit crabs, fiddler crabs, and really any like little shrimp, anything they can kind of get a hold of. But it is cool to see all these snails since they are a part of their diet. So right here, this is a hermit crab. And what these guys do is they're a little crab that has a soft body and they'll find little shells from like this is a young conch shell and they'll actually take this abandoned shell and make it their home and as they grow they'll get bigger and bigger shells 
So pretty cool. Hermit crabs are really cool. It's way better to see them in their natural habitat than seeing them at some dumb beach store. And then over here, along the shoreline, there's little blue crabs. You can see them over here, kind of running up along the shoreline. been to before and right away don't see much but it's a good spot the water's shallow because the bottom of this is just concrete so everything's kind of sitting on top of concrete so if there is a turtle you can usually spot it like right away the trick is not to step in fire ants See all the little fiddler crabs in here. That's pretty cool. Especially considering this is fresh water. These little fiddler crabs just kind of run around on the bank. Got a turtle right here. Yellow-bellied slider on the move. Going through uh, this little area under this bridge. He saw me, now he's going back under. <laughs> all right. So it looks like while it's really hot, they're hiding out under the bridges during the heat of midday and kind of waiting on it to cool off and then they'll probably come out to the rest of this and probably forage, eat some plants, eat some whatever, maybe chase those fiddler crabs around, but spending most of the day just kind of hiding up, up in these things. All right, sky looks intimidating. There is a storm moving in, but I wanted to come back to this ditch uh, when it wasn't sunny and hot. So we're gonna see if this storm moving in and it being a little darker and a little cooler, if I'm gonna have any luck seeing some turtles this time. So right away, I have a cooter. Uh, looks like a yellow-bellied slider and then a common snapper right there. So right away, um, definitely more turtles are out. So maybe I'll see if I can make my way down there and get these guys in hand. Looks like they're uh, feeding on those plants right there. But yeah, that yellow-bellied slider is definitely moving, moving back into those bushes to try and get away from me. And I think I see some more stuff over here, so it looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna try and get this turtle over here in hand. It's a nice little common snapping turtle. Like I said, sitting here eating off of these plants. Looks like a, uh, it looks like a young male about you know 10 inches or so but uh yeah just chilling there hanging out eating something around these plants Let's see if we can find the other turtle there it is over here looks like a good sized yep it is a good sized yellow bellied slider and these guys are really common in here so i'm just gonna let this go we'll see what else is on the move see you snapper all right, so didn't see a lot else. If the snapper's still over here, maybe I'll pick it up for, uh, for video. Because everybody likes seeing me pick up snappers, so let's see how this goes. Let's try the gentle approach. Just gently slide the hand underneath, and there we go. And pretty calm snapping turtle. If you're calm with them, they'll be calm with you. Just slide the hand underneath, gently lift. <laughs> There we go, there's the old snapping turtle attitude. All right, see you later, friend. I know you don't know where to go because I'm walking in your area. But yeah, pretty classic common snapping turtle. Nice little find.
yeah and sometimes you just got to know when to call it and right now this rain is just too sketchy dude like it's a lot of lightning and it moved in a lot quicker than i thought it was going to i really thought that i had at least 30 minutes here but it's looking like maybe i've got another five if i'm lucky so All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, wanna just say thank you and a big shout out to all you guys that left messages about what to do with the loggerhead musk turtle. Unfortunately, uh, she did not make it. By the time I got back to my place with her and started to set her up in a small tub, uh, she just did not, didn't make it. She had just unresponsive and it appeared she had like some pretty severe neurological issues. I don't know if she had broken her neck or what, um, but these things do happen. Um, this is not the first turtle I've found like this after a major storm, so. Uh, it does seem that it's something that it happens from time to time. That said, um, if I do have the ability to possibly uh, help a turtle out and re-release it back into the wild, I, I will always give my best shot at it, um, but sometimes they just don't make it. Uh, I did have a great time uh, on the Georgia coast. Uh, big thank you to Jordan Gray from the Turtle Survival Alliance. Uh, big things coming with him in the future. I'm gonna get with him and we're gonna cover more Diamondback Terrapin stuff and possibly some other turtles, so that'll be really exciting. Um, I was super stoked to get to see wild diamondback terrapins. Um, getting to see them even at a distance is really incredible. They're a species I've never really had a chance to, to see up close, never seen in the wild before this trip. And um, it really has uh, kind of opened my eyes to what a unique turtle they are. And um, somebody has done some real good work down in the, that part of Georgia because just about anybody I asked about where to find them or where to see them, uh, pretty much everybody down there like knows exactly what they are knows how to find them They know that like hey, they're protected. So uh, a lot of good education being done down there um, So thank you guys for watching this video uh, Drop a like subscribe if you like seeing videos like these I keep putting them out and uh, hope you like them and I'll catch you guys on the next one